Those who have thoroughly fulfilled the path of the fifth stage of enlightening beings enter into the sixth stage. They enter by way of ten equalities of things, by the equality of signlessness of all things, by the equality of non-origination of all things, by the equality of absence of characteristic marks of all things, by the equality of non-birth of all things, by the equality of detachment of all things, by the equality of primordial purity of all things, by the equality of non-conceptuality of all things, by the equality of all things in neither coming nor going, by the equality of all things in being like illusions, dreams, reflections, echoes, the moon's image in the water, or apparitions, and by the equality of non-duality of existence and non-existence of all things. Thus observing all things in terms of their intrinsic nature, and according with it, without opposition, they attain the sixth stage of enlightening beings, the stage of presence. But this is only by penetrating conformative tolerance. They have not yet attained the tolerance of the non-origination of things. Thus, understanding all things in their intrinsic nature, enlightening beings, all the more guided by compassion, commanded by great compassion, in order to completely fulfill great compassion, observe the formation and disintegration of the world. While observing the formation and disintegration of the world, it occurs to them. The origin of worldly ways are all due to attachment to self. In those who have no attachment to self, the development of worldly ways does not take place. It also occurs to them, these beings, intellectually infantile, attached to their selves, covered by the blinders of nescence, seeking existence and non-existence, thinking illogically, gone on a wrong path, acting perversely, accumulate conditioned states of good, bad, and immobility. The mental seed conceived and planted by those conditioned states, imbued with taint and grasping, leads to future birth, old age, and death, coming into being as a result of renewed existence. In the field of action, in the darkness of ignorance, with the moisture of craving, and the flow of egotism, the net of views grown, the sprouts of name and form appear. Having appeared, they grow and name and form having developed, the five senses become operative. From the inner course of the operative senses comes contact. From the inner course of contacts comes sensation. After sensation, there is desire. Thence, craving and grasping grow. Once grasping is developed, becoming comes into existence. Once becoming has come into existence, the five clusters emerge. The five clusters having emerged, they progressively deteriorate in the five courses of existence. Having deteriorated, they disintegrate. From deterioration and disintegration, there is anguish. Caused by anguish, all troubles of sadness, lament, pain, and dejection arise together. And yet there is no one who collects these. Of their own nature, spontaneously they disintegrate. There is no one who disintegrates them. In this way, enlightening beings examine interdependent origination in order of progression. They think. Not knowing the truth in the highest sense is called ignorance. The fruit of action fashioned by ignorance is conditioning. The initial mentation based on conditioning is consciousness. The four grasping clusters arising together with consciousness are name and form. The development of name and form is the six sense mediums. The conjunction of the sense faculties, objects, and consciousnesses is tainted contact. Born together with contact is sensation. Clinging to sensation is craving. Craving develops into grasping. Tainted action issuing from grasping is becoming. The outcome of action is birth. The emergence of the clusters. The development of the clusters is old age. The disintegration of the aged clusters is death. The mental anguish of the dying, the disintegrating, who are deluded and attached, is grief. Crying out in grief is lament. In the five senses, it is pain. 
In the vision of the mind, it is dejection. The coming into being of much pain and dejection is torment. Thus, this whole mass of suffering, this tree of suffering, grows without any agent or knower.